I'm Joe Zukas. I'm from Northfield Buzz. And I've just walked into the community center. Is that what it's called? No, it's the Meadow Lake Clubhouse. The Meadow Lake Clubhouse mm -hmm. in, in Northfield. And uh, introduce yourself. Who am I with? I'm Carol Ruffalo, and I'm an 11 year old, 11 year resident here at Meadow Lake. And I am the condominium board secretary, serving my second term on the board. And this room would be used for this meetings, is a party parties, room, party room. And, and we hold our board meetings here. Looks and like you have a small kitchen. small kitchen too. Yeah. Residents uh, can use it for parties. There is a small fee that uh, includes a cle the cleaning. It looks like it will hold a pretty decent sized crowd. I run a party with a group of women shortly right after Labor Day. It's a barbecue and Every year we have around 105 people. Okay. And there's beautiful indoor pool. This this must be the only indoor pool in the North. Indoor lab, lab pool. We have a women's aerobics class on Tuesday and Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock. Um, well, pool, hot tub. Hot tub. Well, here they are. Okay. We've this just been joined by Bonnie Larson. Hello, Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie Larson with Coldwell Banker, and here we are at the Optima Building, Meadow uh, Lake Clubhouse, the Clubhouse. And I showed him the party room where we have, uh, you know, parties. I told him we, I run a barbecue every fall, and it holds about 105 people. This is our patio, okay? And our furniture goes out in a couple of weeks. Okay. So we've got an indoor pool here. It's a great setting. And we're looking for the swan. It's early spring, the trees are just starting to bud. Can't go too close. The swan is sitting on her eggs. Uh -huh. Now we rent these swans. They're oh, really? $3,000 a season. And they always send us the same swans. Oh, do they keep most of the geese away? That's the reason for the swans. Does this one have a name? Uh, not really. Not Maybe. really. Now, if she's uh, hatching eggs, do you get to keep the eggs or do you have to rent them too? No. When the eggs hatch, you'll see it. It'll be beautiful. The, the, fa the mother leads as they can swim after so many weeks. They can swim down the lake. The mother uh, goes first and then the babies. We have pictures. And then by the way, the baby. She's very overprotective. You can also rent logs, but, but we're not a gated community, so you know we wouldn't we have a hard time with dogs. This looks like it's a beautiful setting in the summertime. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Our tables, umbrellas are out. Um, a lot of people have summer parties out here. A lot of times people just bring their dinner their cold dinner and with a group, you know, we have eight buildings. Eight buildings we have. You were telling me about the range of units you have and what the prices go out at? Yeah. Um, the one bedrooms go at range in price, asking price around 250, 250. And we have one that's sold, I believe they're closing soon, um, a little under a million dollars. What we are, we are 13. Uh, that, that wouldn't be a one bedroom though. That would be a. No, it's a large three bedroom on the end with, that, with a lot of. A um, penthouse? Large. Is that a penthouse? Because I think we had a penthouse listed with a beautiful terrace. We've just been joined by Linda Martin. Hi, Hi Linda. Nice to see you. Thanks for taking us on this great tour. Penthouses, all the units on the third floor are called penthouses. So they, I, they can go from a one bedroom to a three. The one that's, we have three bedroom plus den. In my building, I have one on the end also. It's a large three bedroom with a, with a den. So they're very large. So and right now there's one um, for 735. Yeah. Okay. That's a third floor. That's a two bedroom with a solarium. Ooh. These are solariums. See the glass across the way? Dick Humphrey. 
People want to know what uh, what's best about living here. What, what, the people. You, the people. Yeah. That, the, that the, seemed like a really friendly group from what I saw. Well, around. we work towards, especially I do. We work towards building a community. It's a wonderful community. It really is. So you look out for each other. Yes. That's nice. Um, yeah. And uh, I. I moved here about 13 years ago. My husband was very ill. I gave up my home. And uh, the people were very supportive. Uh, I, of course, when he was in a wheelchair, I took him outside a lot. And they were very supportive. And now that he passed away, I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, condominiums are not for everyone. They still have a purpose. You know, widows, um, older people who can't maintain their property, you know, in their big house. But and young people, too. too. There's some teachers that live here. We, uh, we, have, we have unit owners in their 30s all the way up to we have some people in their 90s. Do you have families with children at all? Or? Uh, we have two families um, with children. When my daughter went to Nutria, there were some people that actually moved from big houses over here. Um, Townhouses with, with yeah. Yeah. teenage yeah. kids. Yeah, with teenage yeah, kids. And they're all grown mm -hmm. up now. And they're yeah. Yeah. probably married by now. Yeah. We, we don't draw a lot of children, and I'll tell you why. It's the water. The water. Oh, oh, oh sure. Yeah, the, the middle of that lake is nine feet deep. That makes sense. Okay. It, you know, you wouldn't, toddlers, and I mean, this is really not. Right. It's a dangerous now environment for toddlers. Now, we met your friend with a dog, but. What's the pet situation? Right now, we, we don't allow dogs anymore. So they don't visit it? No. She said this. Uh, the owner is grandfather. So we don't no grandfather the dog. The owner. So if the dog can't die, she could, we're down to about two dogs, two or three dogs. What, so. cat, cats would be allowed? Oh, yeah, cats are pets? allowed. Yeah. yeah. Coop, cougars? Yeah. No cougars? If someone wanted a dog, they couldn't even, uh, could they apply for a now, the unit owners are grandfathered. Like, if you moved here before 1999, when the, the amendment was passed by the vote by the residents, you could have a dog. Like, I could have a dog because I was here before 1999. But anybody that moved in after 1999, no dogs are allowed. 